do for this soap is make a canvas to pour this dustpan pour on top of and the first thing I'm going to do is make something to help me make the canvas <laughs> I know that seems complicated so I'm starting off very simply just making up some plain black soap I'm using today is Galaxy of Stars from what used to be Sensory Perfection. They're not around anymore, unfortunately. So let's just add that in. And I'm going to use this all the way through this soap. I'm going to give that a little blend in just because I want just a basic block of black soap. And I just want to simply pour it into this mould and then leave that to set up overnight. As it's black I do want to make sure it goes through gel so I will be popping it in my, I've actually got a heated sort of cupboard now that I use so I will be popping it in there to make sure it goes through gel. So there's that done. It's nice and level, which is what I want. Let's cover that up and put that away until tomorrow. Here's our little block of soap that we made yesterday. So I just want to slice that up into strips. This is the mold I'm going to be using. Ignore the funny little bits at the corner there. This is one of those molds that comes with dividers. So what I've done is I've just filled those holes that normally hold the dividers with some soap dough and then I've just taped over them to get rid of those bits. Now I want to frame. Now with my frame, I want my frame to go all the way around the edge. But also because I want to frame each soap, I need to have my frame crisscrossing across and um, going that way as well. So I've got quite a bit to do. So what I want is round the edge I'm going to make a thin frame, half a centimetre and then because in these middle ones I have to share the frame between two soaps I'm going to make it a centimetre wide each. So that's how I need to slice up my soap that I made yesterday. This first one's set to my half centimetre, get that sliced off. one. I need two at half a centimetre. Two. And then I need three at one centimetre. So let's pop this up a bit. Okay so I've just had to put a shim in there to get it to the right thickness. And then I need to repeat the exercise for the strips going across the other way. So I'll just do that off camera. What I'll do just before I go is just show you what I'm going to do with these strips. And again, it's going to be something I'm going to do off camera because it's going to be really quite a slow job to do. So what I'm going to do with each of these is I've made myself a little template of a sort of an image sort of reminiscent to a bit of Starry Night's scene. And I'm just going to lay that over my soap dough, well, my soap that I've got. Now, I'm say it's black on black and it's probably very difficult to see, so that's why I'm not actually going to do it on camera, but that's hopefully, can you see that, that little template? I'm going to cut round that for each of those strips to actually make my design that I need for those frames going round my soaps. So here's our frames, let's call them, the next day. So I went through and I cut out all the little bits, as I said. And it's, can you see here, what I've done is I've put a thinner frame around the outside. I'm not sure if you can tell. And then a thicker one across the middle. And I've had to measure them very carefully because what I need to do when I cut it is basically cut halfway through each of those frames. So that we'll have to see if that will work. What I'm going to do is put it on the screen here now. I'm not sure how good the image will be. And the reason why I didn't want to do a scraped layer was I wanted to have like little windows and things like that inside 
the little buildings that are supposed to be in the scene. So, so hopefully you can see how I've sort of put holes through these and fed soap dough through so they've got images of little windows and things. And then also these funny little white bits. These are going to be some of the stars that we've got in the actual painting. There's some quite big splashes of stars. They kind of look a bit like fried eggs. Hopefully they're not going to look like fried eggs in my soap that I've got. Okay, so there's everything done. To stick it down, all I did is I put everything in the frame and then I sprayed the whole lot with 70% rubbing alcohol. So that had quite a bit of water in it, obviously 30% water in it. And that's just got that to stick quite nicely down. So hopefully they're not going to move. And then the last tiny little thing that I've got here is when I made these little stars that I stuck on the side and put through the middle there, where I've made those, I had some little bits left over. All I did for that is I rolled some yellow soap dough and some white dough, soap dough, rolled them together a bit like a sausage roll and then cut them out. And these are just the little bits that I had left over. So what I've done with those is chopped them up into tiny weeny little bits and coated them with a very small amount of sunshine yellow mica and I can sprinkle those in so that they appear through the scene as well. I've prepared some soap and these two amounts are the same quantity. I've got some blueberry mica in here from mica, uh, no, some pure rock colours and some sunshine yellow in here from mica mama. And I also have my fragrance oil put in there. For my fragrance oil, I'm using Galaxy of Stars from Sensory Perfection. So for this first layer, the painting actually has blue and quite a lot of yellow in it. So what I'm going to do is put these into a jug together. Okay, I don't want to fill it up too much. I'm just going to leave it. I think I've got quite a bit of more blue than yellow left. Okay, I think that should be about right. And then I'm going to use this for my first layer. with that because what I was looking at achieving there was I wanted the blue and the yellow and in the painting you can quite clearly see the brush strokes <laughs> and I'm not implying these are anything like Van Gogh's brush strokes at all but I didn't want them merging together and making green so I'm happy there that I've got blue and yellow I am going to just gently sh shape those a bit so they're not so flat once they've set up a little bit so we'll just leave that for now and we'll come back when I can do that I've changed my mind and decided to leave my top like this because it's actually not smooth anyway so I think that's going to be fine and what I don't want to do is I don't want to risk muddling those colours up and coming up with a sort of dirty green. So for this layer I'm going to sprinkle in these sort of excess little stars. I'm going to do a similar thing and in this jug I've got half of the soap I've mixed up now is electric blue from Pure Rock Colours and then a quarter of it is titanium dioxide and a quarter of it is the electric blue again but I've just added a little bit of activated charcoal. And I'm going to do a similar thing but because I haven't got an even mix this time I can't sort of really do the jug pour I split it half and half so what I'm going to do is just gradually add bits to my electric blue. and sort of get my little lines pouring that way.
jars in. Now you're not going to be able to see these on the outside of the soap but it's just that they'll gradually appear as the soap is being used so that'll be quite cute. edges I can't obviously let lift it up and let you have a look but that's looking okay on the edges for my pattern so I'm pretty happy with that so I'm going to leave this to set up now it's nice and level so I'm going to gently pop it into uh, my warming cupboard to just keep that nice and warm and then I'm gonna start on the top our base I think is now set up enough and I've just mixed up some little bits of colour. Shimmer blue with a bit of TD in it, some TD, uh, blueberry, sunshine yellow and electric blue. And I've got a little bit of sunshine yellow just in oil there. Okay so I've got my slab ready just so I can grab it nice and easily. So I'm now going to start filling up this dustpan. And a tiny touch of my little mica drizzle there onto that yellow. I think I might need to start a pour because I'm starting to lose some off the front. I'm going to be topping this up I think a couple of times because I don't think I'll have enough to cover the base each time. Well, let's move these colours out of the way because I'm going to be swinging stuff around. Okay, so let's go. moment I'm gonna leave that to set a little bit and then spray it with some rubbing alcohol oh missed a bit here I 
and then get that put away. So here we are with our soap the next day and I'm really pleased with how that's come out because I wasn't able to cover it because I poured right at the top of my mould. So I'm really pleased I put it through a good strong gel. I never let the heat get down too much on it. I mean, I didn't leave it hot, hot all night, but at the moment here in the UK, it's pretty freezing. So I kept it in a warm place all night. And I'm really pleased with how my little picture has come out of the side. Oh, let's turn that up the right way. So <laughs> my little sides on the my little starry night sides, I think they've come out really nicely. You can just see the ones on the edges. So the little pictures have come through really well and the little sort of swirls, how I put that soap in. So I'm really pleased with that. Now, what I'm gonna do is obviously I need to cut down through. Do you remember I put those frames all the way through the soap? I'm just gonna <laughs> turn the video off a minute and spend a little bit of time just, just lining things up and measuring stuff. And I'm sure you don't need to watch me with a ruler just checking to make sure everything's straight. Because what I don't want to happen is with my little um, frames that I've got on the back, I don't want to miss any of them, if possible. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll get them. So I'm just going to do some checks and then I'm going to line up my soap cutter and then come back when I'm ready to do some cuts and we can see if I make it and slice those frames correctly. Okay, so I think I'm set with the first one. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we managed to split them correctly. Yes! Excellent! So I've got my frame. Can you see I've got my frame? This bottom is a little bit messy. That's no problem. I can just plane that bottom bit a little bit. But I've got my frame going round nicely and that's all met over. So that's great. And then all I've got to do with these is, <laughs> probably the easier bit, is to then line them up and slice them the other way. Okay, so we've got our soap there with the design and the rim all the way around the edge of it. <laughs> I'm really pleased with those. Right, let's carry on cutting the rest of these. Oh, oh. <laughs> quite a lot of hard work, but then let's face it, I tend to make things hard work, don't I? <laughs> right. Okay, so that is a nice success with my little starry night. Right, I'm going to get those beveled and everything, and then we'll do some final photos. And then here to finish off are some final photos of the soap. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping!